Let me introduce you to the concept of success. Ben Franklin was a pretty smart guy, and I want to start with a quote by him. If you do tomorrow what you did today, you will get tomorrow what you got today. You want to know what that means? The average American makes between 3 and 5% more each year. That's the deal. And in today's economy, I'm not sure we're going to make the 3 to 4 to 5% next year as employees. So it takes you 20 years to double your income in America as an average person. That's the mediocrity that we're stuck in in life. And then you meet people who have the uncanny ability to double their income in a year, to get promoted five times in a year. The ones that beat the system, the ones that conquer it, you've all seen them, haven't you? The difference between them and the ones that don't do that is that they wake up in the morning and they think differently. They understand that if I do tomorrow what I did today, I'm gonna get tomorrow what I got today. You want a bigger car? How about a nice house in Tahiti? Sure, would you love a nice house in the hills? We all want better things, don't we? We all want more friends, more stuff, more money, more security, more travel, more enjoyment. If you do the same thing tomorrow that you did today, you're stuck. Stuck. And it doesn't change. And it grows a little at a time. And you get a taste of success. But it's never fast enough. It never excites you. And when it does, it's a good month, or a good two months, or a good three months, but it doesn't provide a trajectory that creates success. So the first thing I want you to think about today is I want you to wake up tomorrow and do something different. And understand if you do the same damn thing, you're stuck. Just because you did it a certain way yesterday, there's no reason to do it that way today. You wake up in the morning, you're failing. So you blame the president, you blame Congress, you blame Greece, blame the Euro. I mean, you, construction in the street, it's the mayor. Oh, it's the, the, and you wake up in the morning and you look in the mirror and you're not failing because it's the other guy's fault. Or it's the economy's fault. But if you looked in the mirror and said, I'm failing because of me, you wouldn't like it. And you change that. And I believe the common denominator of failure in any business is excuses. Why are you failing? You never say because of me. Oh, it's the competition. It's the economy. It's the president. It's Congress. If you wake up tomorrow morning and blame your failure on someone or something else, you have no reason to change, do you? It's that son of a fault. Son of a gun! I did everything I could! But if you woke up in the morning and looked in the mirror and said, I am failing because of me. The decisions that I make, the energy I put in, I'm not passing the blame. If you look in the mirror tomorrow and say that, you will change. Because nobody likes thinking of themselves as a failure. How often does that happen to us in our day-to-day -day lives? Ah, you know, family, the biggest excuse of all, time. Every one of those excuses was bullshit, wasn't it? Think about it. Every single one, at the end of the day, winners win. But as long as you don't put it on you, you have no motivation to change it. So in short, if you own your failure, you'll own your success. If you don't own your failure, you'll never dig out. And I find that in any business, always the common denominator of failure, personally, is excuses. You don't want to be a failure, do you?